Solomon's Mines. Like many others, well, I didn't believe in them. In those days, Africa was a land of many romantic legends and had a vast, unexplored interior. I was a hunter, and it wasn't until the year 1881 that I learned that the mines were a stark reality. I say were because they now lie buried under a million tons of ashes and lava. At the time I'm speaking of, diamonds had been found in Kimberley, and many adventurous spirits small parts of the You've struck lucky on getting red. Yes, young. Yeah. You can call for your money tomorrow. I'll have five pounds on account to get drunk with. <laughs> <laughs> get your back to the wall, the whole boil and lot of you. Don't shoot, boys. It isn't a hold up. I'm just fiend to myself and the treasures of Araby. Cast your eye over that, me boy, and see what you make of it. What do you found? Perhaps a house in Park Lane, a carriage and pair for me daughter, and the life of Riley hereafter and evermore. Cool. Did you ever see the light? Nice piece of crystal, O'Brien, but no diamond. You don't mean it. I'm sorry, Miss Keith. That's bad luck, Patsy, bad luck. Ah, bad luck, nothing. I was only having a joke with you. Come on down. Come Next, on. please. Come on again, Patsy. Divil, I will. I spurned the diamond fields under me shoes. We could only get to the course I could get a job, teach you. And would you like it? I would not. Of course you would. Now listen, there was a man in the bar last night from the Congo. He says there's a fortune in ivory. There's been a fortune in everything we've tried. But it wasn't us who found it. From now on, we'll be decent, respectable citizens. And we're going to the coast before I change my mind. How much money have we? Less than a pound, and all our traps are in the pawn shop. What's that you have? For you. A gift I bought to celebrate our magnificent discovery. A shamrock. For luck, it didn't cost a thing. I know what it cost. There were two in Mulligan's store. Here's the other for you. Catty me, Diana, was there ever anything to beat it? Sure, with a bit of shamrock a piece, there's nothing on earth can hold it down. Look. Glory be to God, straight from heaven. Ask him for a lift to the coast. Sure, it's a five weeks journey. It's a lot to ask. And you call yourself an Irishman? It's a fine morning. It's a fine morning. Is it? It is. Are you going to the coast? No. It's Fontaine. Well, that's all on the way. Whose way? Ours. We were wondering if you'd give us a lift. No. My name is Kathleen O'Brien. And this is my father, Patrick O'Brien, Bachelor of Arts of Trinity College, Dublin. Thank you, Pete. Bachelor of Arts of Trinity College, Dublin. We're down and out from the diggings, huh? We're down, but we're not out. We're out as far as my wagon's concerned. Oh, so you don't approve of us? I don't approve of anyone who tears up the face of the country for greed. Me daughter is a good cook. I have a good cook. Me father's a wonder to talk. Yeah, he would be. And he's a lovely rifle shot. Just think of the game he could get for you. Craig! <laughs> What's funny in that? What a man. That's under in Africa. That ends it. It does not, then. Mr. Quarterman, you needn't take us if you don't want to. But here's something for you to think about in your precious solitude. 
Miss Father's own sister is dying in Kilkenny. Well, if they never meet this side of the gate, it is you that will have prevented them. Come, Papa. Ten days. Look. Ah, the pretty creature. Startled. Maybe she knows that in ten days you'll be after her with your murdering guns. I'll get you a knife. You don't like hunting? No, I do not. Neither do I. Then what do you hunt for? A living. It pays me to run hunting trips. I've got two clients waiting for me now. There must be a lot of money in hunting. I've been thinking over what that fella said about Ive. You had an experience in tracking game? He wants to part in a badger hunt, but the badger escaped. Well, you never know what you can do till you try. While you're trying, your poor sister's peacefully passing away in Kilkenny. Alan Quartermain, it was a lie about me father's sister. I know, I met the Irish before. I'm glad you owned up. Why shouldn't she? She's going to settle down and teach school. You're going to... Settle down. Of course I am. I suppose there isn't anything in the ivory trade, is there? If you ask me, there isn't a pin to choose between you. There's a wagon across the river. No, oh, antelope, probably. I'm sure it's a wagon. Can't be. And why not? There's nothing across that river but devils. That's what the natives say. It's unexplored land, desert probably. It may be the devils, but I can see a wagon. Come on! What a quick. Whose wagon is this? He's not able to talk. It's the desert. Inside, huh? Venus, Venus, you to see her town. Can't come visit it again. Bandidos, asesinos! Now the ace of Rami is a great hole, and just was master. That's all right. They're looking after him. The I others ran away in the night, many fun. days ago. The fear was on them. Sure, the devil. Then he fell ill. Yeah. We could not reach the north. Help him back to camp. I turned back. He does not know. Let me go on. Out of the way. You can't go on. You are ill. Do I care if I am ill? I don't know where you're going, but... You want to know where I am going. But I tell you, you cannot follow. I cross the desert. After the desert, I find King Solomon's mountain. After the mountain, I find King Solomon's mine. Diamonds. Jose Silvestre. When you see me, I dine. I will be the richest man on earth. So, out of the way. No, my captain is Mr. Kaito. Not an east, a red. Did you hear that? The mines of King Solomon himself over the desert. But is it true? True, by true. We have heard of the mine. Yeah. Give me some water. Numza. All the jewels of Oprah. No one ever discovered where Oprah was. And that's where she's made. Kathy, my medicine chest. All right. Where? Bobby Maji. In Majibana. What's that, you huh? The map. Look. 300 years old. He said an ancestor to his went there and never come back. Look, the way across the desert. And here, King Solomon's Mount. And the mine. The jewels of Ophir. The greatest treasure in the world. 
Now that map is his. He had no right to take it. I know, but if he leaves, we won't use it. And if he doesn't, I'll seek the treasure myself. And that mass is sent for a soul. The shamrock. I set it at putting this lock. Kathy! I'm coming. Dig a grave. I'm gone. What's that? What's that? All over. God rest his soul. Kathy asleep. It must be a terrible thing to die alone in the desert without your food. Terrible. What do you think of the map? How'd you guess? I know human nature where treasure's concerned. Where's the harm? I returned it. After taking a copy. Will you be sending the map to his folk? Will you provoke somebody else to lose his life on a fool's errand? Besides, he has no folk. Have you looked over it? Do you think it's genuine? It's unexplored country. Nobody knows. Well, you're looking at a man who means to know. You're not going to take that what joke. What do you take me for? I'm a father, not a murderer. I should go alone. In all my life, I may never get another chance like this. For dying? I'll find in an excuse for having been born. You'll take me a casual kind of a mix who doesn't care a curse if I have a shilling in my pocket to buy a square meal for my own flesh and blood. But it's a way we Irish have to take our troubles with a smile in our teeth. While underneath, there's deep shame in me heart. Do you think I don't know what I owe to that child that's lying asleep there? I do know. And here is what I mean to pay that debt in full. With your life, huh? If God wills it, quit me life. How do you propose to make the journey? As in Providence sent me a team of oxen and a wagon and the strength and purpose to carry me to the ends of the earth. You know, O'Brien, there's only one kind of man that is useless to argue with. And that is? In Kosi, a wagon. Where is it? I'll take you on. At least you'll be short of food and a wage. Kathy, wake up! I do not work for money, and you do not go my way. All right. Alan. Alan Quarterman. He's gone after the treasure. I know. Without me. Me who lay dreaming of the way we'd go together. Did you ever hear of something? Hurry up, they're starting. You're heading the wrong way. Aren't we going after me, Father? No. Nope. But now, put on your boots and get into the wagon. I told your father I'd look after you. You knew he was going, and you let him go by himself. Alan Quarterman, will you take me after my father, please? Listen, we'll look for the mines together, and when we find them, you'll have your share, and more, much more. Doesn't a fortune mean anything, do you? All right, if you won't take me in your wagon, I'll go on my own two feet. you hear what I said? I did. Then why don't you say something? Because you're not going to do it. The Inkosikas goes across the river. Yes, I do. What business is it of yours? The Inkosikas has the map. I guide her. The map's in my wagon. No one's going across the river. Kathy, get into that wagon. Get into that wagon. What's your name? I have many names. One will do. Mbopa. Where'd he come from? You're after diamonds. White men care for diamonds. And what do you want to go north for? Move up. Tina Flamba. I'm gone. Now look here, Mbopa. If you won't take service with me, I don't want you hanging about my camps. Footsack. Check. That fellow's up to no good. Alan Quartermain, I'll never speak to you again. Never. I'm used to silence.
My clients arrived last night. It would be quite nice to have somebody to talk to. Put the Englishman's gear in here. We'll use this wagon. Leila, my daughter, Leila. How are you, Quartermain? How are you, Sir Henry? I'm afraid I've kept you waiting. Uh, this is Miss O'Brien. How do you do? Did you have a good trick? No, I did not. Now, don't mind Miss O'Brien, Sir Henry. She's strong and silent. The nut is in the wagon. How did you get here? The Inkosikas does not forget her purpose. Good will insist on having his bath. No reason for being in sanitary, even in Africa. Quite right. Well, I'll see you both at dinner. Yes, I say, how, how do you get out of this thing? You better ask Sir Henry to tip you out. Huh? Right. Oh, no, 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 silly, I mean, don't, I mean, huh? Well, no, 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 silly, I mean. Uh, Sir Henry, Sir Henry Curtis. Sir Henry, Sir Henry Curtis. Will you help me, please? I'm in terrible trouble. You see, Mr. Quartermain wants me to send the wagon back north so that the boys can have camp ready when you arrive. But they won't obey me. They won't obey me. Mutiny, eh? Yeah. Oh, Lord, be to God, I thought it was a pig. Commander Good, Royal Navy. Retired. I'll go and fetch Quartermain. Ah, oh, no, please don't. I don't want him to know I've had any trouble. Will you speak to them? Of course I'll speak to them. By the way, I thought you were strong and silent. Harry, <laughs> you wouldn't believe Mr. Quartermain. He's a terrible liar. Gentlemen, the Queen. God bless her. Now, with your permission, we'll light up. And with yours, I'll run over a few of my proposals. I take it you want to get a sable antelope, Sir Henry? Is Mr. Brown often as late as this? Well, she'll show up when she's hungry. She seems to me to be a capable young person. Hmm, yes. Capable of anything. She has stolen one of my wagons if I hadn't kept my eyes open. Anything wrong? Well, I mean, I take it that it's in order for Sir Henry to tell your wagon boys to obey the young lady. With the result that your wagon is now proceeding in a northerly direction to, uh, to establish a camp. But she told me that you... My boy, I'm afraid you're the victim of a woman's wiles. We must go after her. certainly must. My only toothbrush is in that wagon. She has three hours start. It'll be two days before I can get another team together. But she told me those boys were mutinous. <laughs> I'm afraid, Sir Henry, that it's Miss O'Brien who is mutinous. You have a little more coffee. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Why should I care if my journey's long? I'm sure to get there, though my journey's long. My team and my wagon are strong. Struggle along, struggle along. Oxen of mine till your shoulders crack. Keep plodding along till your shoulders crack. I'll never be turning you back. Oh, oh, oxen of mine, answer my whip when it calls. Oh, oh, keep in your line. Leopards wait to get the one that falls. Get up there, quack. Oh, oxen of mine, shining as bright as the moon. Oh, keep in your line, there'll be a waddle soon. We'll come to that waddle soon. Oh, oh, you better keep on, think of that sun in the sky. Oh, oh, Hurry along, or the sun will drink that water dry. Get up there, quah, quah, strain at your load, though you are weary and sore. Quah, quah, keep to the road, soon you'll be resting once more. Soon you'll be resting.
resting once more. Walk, walk on the line and survive with many calls. Yeah, yeah, keep in your line. Leopard, wait to get the one that falls. Get up there, yeah, yeah, on the line. Shining as bright as the You're nine miles north of the hill, heading for the desert in a stolen wagon. And what's left of my trousers? And you're coming back tomorrow. Meanwhile, Commander Good would like his toothbrush. Yes. If you want a girl, I'll give you the hiding of your life. Shame of yourself? But I'd do it again. Ready to come back? I'm not coming back. I made up my mind to go after my father and I'm going. Not in my wagon. I don't want your wagon anymore. You can't take a wagon over the waterless desert because you can't take any oxen. Why? Because they drink too much. Who told you that? I didn't, Kosi. What are you doing here? I brought you. Now look here, Kathy. I don't know what fairy tales this man's been telling you. But I give you my word, no living soul can cross that desert. How does the Nkosi know? Well, I'm going to try. I'm not afraid. If the Nkosi cast is ready. Now I'm in charge here. Clear up! Wait a minute. We obviously can't let these two go alone. But is there any reason why we shouldn't go with them? Very good suggestion. Solves the whole problem. I won't have it. Nobody's asking you. I thought you wanted to go hunting. Oh, why, you know, hunting, fishing, anything with a little adventure in it. You know how men die for lack of water? Thirst, burning thirst that turns to pain, torture. Then you go mad, and the sun kills you. Imaginative fellow, isn't he? What a man. I'm sorry our trips had to end like this. How do you mean end? Well, we'll be away for some time. We can't ask you to wait for us. Sir Henry Curtis. I was engaged to take you up country and to bring you back to the best of my ability. Well, I happen to be a man who respects a contract. I'm lining up for the rest of you. You're a good fellow, Quarterman. On the contrary, I'm a fool. How are your feet? All right. How are yours? Fine. Nice about our feet, isn't it? Are you really going all through this just for diamonds? Inkosi says so. I didn't say anything. I'm asking you. Why is Inkosi going? Best if I know. You're not one for a bit of gossip, are you? Thank you. 
Martins don't seem to get any nearer, do they? No, they don't, do they? No. No, they, no, they don't. Feeling better? Must you keep on asking me? I needn't. Oh, I'm sure I'd miss it if it didn't. How long will the water last? Tomorrow. If I... If I don't get another chance... I'm, I'm sorry about everything. What are those birds up there? Hosfogel. They must be living in a place like this. We call them the bird that smells death. Huh? Oh. Good, come here. O'Brien's wagon. Go back and keep her talking. Fetch the others. Well, that's the last ration of water. Half a bottle each. That's good. I... Yes. I, I see by the map that we ought to get to Pan Badwater by midday tomorrow. Yes. Well, why is it called Pan Badwater? Because in 300 years it may have dried up. Oh. Oh, I see. Use Curtis. There's no point in her surviving us. Look, the mountains are nearer. 
Mountain, oh you mountain, gonna climb you. Gonna climb you. Mighty mountain. Climbing up. Climbing up till I'm holding the clouds in my hand. Climbing up, climbing up till the world is below where I stand. Climbing up to the land that I know must lie. Mountain, oh you mountain, mighty mountain. Breakfast ready? Yeah, Ernie. We had melons for breakfast yesterday. We did. Had melons the day before. We did. I suppose we're going to have melons today. We, we are. are. Don't the birds in this country ever lay eggs? I wonder how far my father is ahead of us. Are you sure you got this far? Of course I am. Patrick O'Brien has always done what he set his mind to. What did you think about in the desert? Sand, mostly. Do you ever think of me? Yes. You and the sand. I'm glad of that, because you're going to see a lot of me in the next few weeks. Am I? I'm afraid you can't avoid it. You see, we're in uninhabited country. I hate to contradict you, but there's a man behind that rock. Several
Pearl Men. They seem anxious to meet us. Much too anxious. What's happened? They say, what manner of man is this with a beautiful white leg? Who grows hair on one side of his face and can pluck his eye from his head and replace it where it grows. He's telling them you are white gods from the skies. Me know the count of my leg. I never thought there was good at all that. Nin ito a nyan. Ebeat. E ito de do. Nin idi kotu mbuko. He couldn't have done that better if he'd been an Irishman. <laughs> People about an uninhabited country. This is a military crowd. Oh, I hope the cooking is good. There's the soldiers' quarters, and that's the king's hut. Buckingham Palace and Wellington Barracks, huh? So unlike the home life of our dear queen, isn't it? Suppose Patrick O'Brien's in there. Don't worry, my father's gone after diamonds. King Solomon's mine. That's where we'll find him. If there is such a mine. Twala! Didem. Oh, you before. I mean, go to them before them. He did. He did so well, yeah. Well, he says he isn't in. He says the twilight of the king will see the strangers who come to his land and claim to be God.
you're right. Look at their spears. It's all right. They think we're gods. Well, I hope that Twala does. Head up. If she thinks we're afraid, anything may happen. Now, my echo, maybe me. Would it do any good if I whipped off my trousers, do you think? Ntake me, mem fiatn dem, enyen ne me? He asks, why do the gods honor his kingdom? Is it the white stones they seek? Diamond! So there is a mine! Tell him, yes! Von da nyan. Ke iboro ro, twala. He's going to take it. King Solomon's mine. The greatest treasure in the world. And his father inside, fill in his pockets. That comedy! It seems they are nice fellows, after all. I hope you're right. What are you going to do with your share of the money? If we get out of this, go back to England and keep sheep. Oh. I think I'll buy myself a battleship and rejoin the Navy. Solomon's Road and the silent ones to guard it, broken and overgrown. I wonder how many civilizations have perished like this one. But Solomon had nothing to do with idols. The Phoenicians did. They were the great traders of Solomon's time. Perhaps some Phoenician ran the mine. after the mines. These people believe that she's hundreds of years old. Would you say that she was well preserved? Reminds me of my poor old aunt, Hannah. She came to no good. She asks why the white man's servant walks like a prince. I noticed it myself. I'm a commonly good walker, that fellow. That's because she's seen a white man. Mongya, Akanana, I thought. Omoko tafidi dem. Efene mi abidja. Nya mi. Mino or pani kede gone. She has? Perhaps it was yesterday, perhaps it was a hundred years ago. Time has no meaning to her. Through that door, Slaves brought jewels to the Queen of Sheba thousands of years ago. And Patrick O'Brien went in to find his fortune. Come on. Careful, Nkosi. Insutabe. Paula dare not harm you here. The people think you gods. Once inside, he has no one to fear. The stone will roll back. Come away. 
They've never seen a gun fired before. Well, that made him feel pretty silly. chance is to escape before they make up their minds. I'm afraid it is. Someone will have to deal with the guard, I suppose. Pretty. Seems a very decent sort of fellow. All right, then. But I'm stopping here. Kathy, be sensible. You can't. But I came here to find my father. But there isn't a vestige of proof that your father ever reached here. Have it your own way. The shamrock. My father's. So he is here. Now do you want me to run away? Where did you find this? On the way to the mine. Kathy, you saw what nearly happened to us. This proves that it must have happened to your father. If your father loved you as much as you love him, he'd be the last one to want you to stay. Wouldn't he? That's not fair. I'm sorry, Kathy. Then it's agreed we leave tonight. Yes. It is not agreed. You must stay. I'm in charge here. I told you that before. That was in your country. We are now in mine. You cannot escape. Everywhere the men of Twala watch. One step beyond that door and a spear will pierce your back. How do you know that? Tomorrow the drums beat. They smell out the evildoers. Gagu will put her mark upon the enemies of the king. They die like cattle. Looks like a red letter day for all of us, doesn't it? Yet the people are weary of wickedness and blood. If there was one to lead them, they would rise up. Well, isn't there one? Perhaps he could be found. Who are you? A man who looks for diamonds and hangs about your camp. That's what you said. Once there was a king in this land, emote to the loved. But he fought the wicked Gargoul, who was older than the memory of the oldest man. For that, she made his brother, Twala the One-Eyed, kill him while he slept. The wife of Emotu and the son of Emotu were driven into the desert. It is said they died. And if they didn't, the son of Emotu should be king and not Twala. You are the son of Emotu. I am the son of Emotu. Committee seems unanimous. I always thought that fellow had a spot of royal blood in him. You don't get a snake on your stomach for nothing, you know. It is agreed. Tomorrow, at the smelling out of the evildoers, they will lead the people of the Kukuana against Twala. 
but I need your help. And in return, I offer you your lives and the freedom of the mines. For you, the diamonds, riches. For you, adventure. For you, the happiness of the Incasicas. Today, you saw how Twala treats strangers. If your father is alive, he is in the mine. How can we help you? Behind Twala stands Gagul. The people fear her magic. They will rise only if you show them a greater magic. But you live among us. You know that the white man has no magic. I must have magic. And if we cannot give it? The drums will roll at the smelling out. Gagul will give the sign. The killers will speed to the evildoers. They will beat us to death. <laughs> day back home in the hey sunny uh, I had a bet on Manitoba no such horse certainly is I got it in my diary yeah, it is Derby day Manitoba right Joe look here 1115 total eclipse of the sun visible over Tenerife South Africa magic good you're a genius 1115 that ought to settle me it's a chance Hold out till eleven fifteen. Here's Dari. Huh? Uh, of course. I wouldn't have had a bet on last year's Derby this year, would I? No. <laughs> Suga.
close it. Ten minutes past eleven. about the time. God help us if you're not. Amba, amba, 
Last time I fired this thing, it didn't fire. Still doesn't. She's gone. Look, Gargoon, the mine.
you're right. Indeed, I'm not all right. I'm after breaking my leg. like this. How do you expect me to carry you? I tell you, he'd get here. Thank God you're safe. Of course I'm safe. So this is what put an end to the mine. They stumbled upon a volcano. How do you explain those skeletons? Miners trying to escape and trapped by the lava. Oh. Hurry up, Curtis, will you? And just when we get to whether there's a fortune in diamonds, the mountain should decide to sit down on it, doesn't it? It did not, then. I have a fortune here in my pocket. There's enough here for all of us. Diamonds are not much use when you're trapped behind solid rock. I don't want to depress you any further, but I think there's going to be an eruption. That fall of rock, you know? Volcanoes are nervous things. Uh, takes very little to upset them. Well, if it wasn't for me, he'd be quietly shooting game in the south. And then you'd have gone home and married some nice girl and lived in your big house. And slowly grown old and fat and disagreeable. And ended up a feeble old man but no one's sorry to see you go. No. I'd rather die young. Strange. I used to hate dying. I'd lie awake at night thinking about it, scared. But when you come to it, it's not so bad after all. There's only one thing I'm sorry about. I'd like to have seen Ireland again. The glen of a mall where I was born, with the mountains running down to the lakes. You were to have gone home next year. You could have come with us.
good idea, but it, it's bound to fall on us. I'm both up. Burgess, you must put it clear. Ready. Right. Here, my country ends. But a hundred of my men will lead you across the desert. Go now, my friends, and at time, remember how we stood shoulder to shoulder in the great battle. Mighty mountain, oh you mountain, mighty mountain. 